I've watched a lot of videos of traffic stops. So I know all the ways they can go wrong and all the things you shouldn't do. So here's some advice on what you should do. The first thing you need to remember is that when an officer approaches your car, he doesn't know whether you're a deacon in your church or someone who's had a really bad day and has thoughts of ending it all. So his first concern is for his safety. And his first concern is determining whether or not you're a potential threat. So don't give him any reason to be concerned. One thing I see a lot is that as soon as the lights come on or the officer starts walking up to the car, the person starts bending over and rummaging through their front seat or through the car. They're probably looking for your insurance and license information, but the officer is gonna suspect that you're looking for a weapon or looking to hide something like drugs. The second thing to remember is that there are people just like you. There are some good ones and there are some bad ones. Just because they're rude to you doesn't mean that you get to return the favor. I've seen too many situations where that escalates quickly. Trust me, you're not going to win. They have the power and the authority and a gun. And even if you win in the long run and establish they've abused their position or their authority, you've still had a really unpleasant experience, which probably involved a trip to jail. Being respectful only goes so far though. Other than providing your license and insurance information, that's all you have to do. Be aware that there are some officers whose only job is to patrol the highway, make traffic stops, and try to conduct searches to locate drugs or other contraband. And they don't need a reason to ask for permission to search your car. I know it's hard to say no. You think that if you say no, they'll probably believe you have something to hide. And they probably will. But they can't search without your consent unless they have probable cause. And if they think they have probable cause, they're going to search anyway. You can be polite about it. A simple, I don't think that's necessary, or I'm in a hurry and I'd like to get on my way is a good response. And remember that once you consent, you can't really take it back. So once they start searching your car, you may be there for a while. And if you have a lot of junk in there, like I do sometimes, that can be a little embarrassing. Handle it properly, and chances are I'll never have to review one of your traffic stops. If you found this helpful, please like this video and share it with your friends. We've handled hundreds of cases over the years involving traffic stops, and we know what to look for and what defenses are available. So if you need our help, please give us a call.